Hello everyone. Here at Assemble, we are super excited to talk about our, our latest release, the Class Editor. So what the Class Editor is going to be able enable us to do is have the ability to create calculated values and custom formulas directly in this desktop portion of Assemble, which is the Class Editor, and it allows us to publish up the information to Assemble, similarly to some of our other integrations and how we publish currently. So this video is just a quick run through of, of what the class editor is going to be able to do and uh, how that's going to affect the information that you have available in Assemble. So once you get the download for this class editor, like I said, this is going to be a, a small desktop software that's going to do all the heavy lifting for us. And um, you can just come up to the top left and open up Assemble just like you would any other time. So you can put in a URL, a username and password, and then you can select a project and a view that you want to be working with as well. You always have to be working off of a view, even if it's the entire model or a coordinated group of models. Either way, you're going to have to have a view here. Once you have that view built out, you'll notice that on the top left, we have our three, or our inventory rather. The bottom left, we have our 3D viewer. The center panel over here is going to be our properties, and we're going to grab all the values that we're going to calculate from. And the right, we're going to have the availability to calculate those properties. So this can be really great for calculating things like waste factors or sheet raw square footage for interior partitions or basically any a small granular assembly quantity that you couldn't obtain before we can now calculate and assemble so i know for a lot of our users this was a pain point um not being able to obtain values for finishes of walls and for the different parts and pieces that make up an entire wall assembly that you're estimating from so this class editor will allow us to do those sorts of things so coming up to here i can actually just grab any of these objects and take a, take a look at its properties. Once I take a look at its properties, say I want to apply a waste factor to this. I add a calculated property in the top right, and then I have all the available information for this, this model object here with all the dimensions that you'll see down here under the numeric properties. So say I want to create a waste factor for these objects. I've already created that, that property in assemble, so I can actually come up here to the right, find that property that I want to paste it into, and then I can create the calculation from here. One thing to point out about these properties is you may have heard about our new new release of numeric and group assemble properties. These numeric properties were key in us allowing you guys to, to create these calculated values. So if you create a numeric property now, you can use this class editor to calculate values and embed them directly in those properties. And we'll take a look at how that comes out once we do it in just a few moments. So from here, say I want to create this waste factor for these objects. We're going to have to do this one object at a time, and then we apply this to other objects by using filters, and we'll get to that in just a second as well. So say we want to create this waste factor. I come in, and let's say we want to round up on this to make sure that we're getting a total value. And I can get rid of the parameter one and come in here and find the value that I want to waste factor from. So I can assume that the volume for my concrete is going to be what I want to waste factor for. So I come into that calculation, and I can just now add a property of volume. And so I can now take this and let's say we want a 10% waste factor. We can multiply that by 1.1. And let's go check that result. Back empty. Oh, so you notice that I accidentally put my equal sign after this. So if we just throw, make sure that's before all of our calculation, try that one more time, we get 492 cubic yards, which seems to me like a pretty spot on calculation. So for here, now if we want to apply this to all of our other objects, we can add a filter. So we can do these filters based on a bunch of different things, based on some custom assigned information or some of the model properties. So say I want to apply it to every single one of these other objects. I have to select this category, and then I can now select from the categories which I want it to be applied to. So if I just wanted this to my floors, I would just select floors. But from right now, I want this waste factor applied to all of my concrete objects. So I can select every one of those objects here, and I can now calculate that filter. And you'll notice a little busy indicator up in the top right. That'll identify whether or not this is working, and once that busy indicator goes away, you know that this information has been pushed up to assemble. So one more thing before we check out what we what we get with this information once we've calculated these values, I just want to point out that these calculated values can be created for multiple different things at one time, and you can calculate multiple filters at once as well. So you can now create four more calculations, um, all the different waste factors, any calculated value that you need directly here in this class editor, and, and push it up into assemble. You could even change the visibility of different objects and, and even save out these calculations as a class editor file so that it can be used later on different projects and for other information. So from here, you saw that we come up here and we, we pushed up those waste factors to assemble. So now we come in here, we take a peek at that information. 
I probably want to refresh this page, but for right now, we'll just take a peek at what we have. And now we'll select one of those objects. And if you remember, we were playing around with some of this information before. So we grabbed that whole slab. And if you remember, 492 was the value that we were calculated there. So now we have this really nice waste factor embedded right into assemble. And we can actually now come over here and take that value and embed it into our properties. So this was a non-specific numeric property. And the reason I did that is because for a waste factor, we may have different quantities that we're trying to, to grab waste factors for. So you might have a waste factor for your square footage of your walls, but you also might have a, square, a waste factor for your, your cubic yardage of concrete like we did. So instead of assigning that to a specific unit, I just made a numeric property. So now when I come over to my assembled properties and my inventory and take a look, we have all those waste factors embedded directly in assemble and we're able to use those as a specific quantity. I could have made this a volumetric property and it would have also worked the same exact way with a, with a aggregate of the total values, but you see we now have those numeric values embedded directly in assemble. If you're looking for the download for this class editor, feel free to reach out to sales at assemblesystems.com. And if you have any issues or questions about this at all, feel free to reach out to support at assemblesystems.com. We're really excited about this class editor and everything else that we're going to be releasing over the coming weeks and months. So definitely stay tuned for our upcoming releases and uh, let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks so much, everyone.